as you've heard, welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Today, we are taking on the second secret post-game boss fight, Prince Mush. Last time around, we did it against Wacka, and that was really crazy at the bottom of the pit of 100 trials. But now, we're heading back to Glissville, joining the Glitz Pit again, and of course, is taking on Prince Mush, who was a previous Glitz Pit champion, so he's not gonna be easy to you know defeat or anything like that. Before we get into it though, I did want to take a look at my currently available items, maybe switching things around. Uh, first things first is I might store a few items. I don't think I need like the hot sauce right now. So we can get rid of some of that. Um, and then when it comes to some of these other items, like I don't think I need more than like that kind of stuff. The whack of bumps are really nice. The jam and jelly can be good. Maybe one more jam and jelly if I have any. So let's see, can we withdraw? Let's see, here to withdraw. Uh, we have, well we could just get more whack of bumps too. It doesn't seem like I have any more jam and jellies. Okay, so I'll do one more whack a bump, but beyond that, what I'm mostly focused on, I think, is going to be the life mushrooms, which I think the other shop here in Rogueport to the far left should have that. A lot of you recommended that I take that item just because if we do get knocked out, it helps us survive. So I definitely think that if I could get the rest of my inventory filled up with those, that would be a really good opportunity. So I'm gonna run over there, we'll get that dealt with, right here, and we got some right here. They are pretty pricey, but I'd like to buy one. And this will give me more points to the shop, which is cool. So I'll get another, and then another. We have room for quite a few. So I think I wanna have like maybe four in total, but so let's go with five, you know, for the sake of it, for the fun of it. There you go. Um, and now everything else, I don't know if we'll need anything too specific. Um, it's just one, opponent, so I don't know if we need anything that would hit multiples, but I, I wouldn't mind making an opponent dizzy. And besides that, if we take a look, sorry, sorry Vivian. Uh, can I withdraw with you? Let's see, I'm here to withdraw. And I mean, I guess another whack a bump would be good. Maybe I'll, I'll get some of the blue sheet out. I wonder if this would be good. Temporarily does half damage back to all foes who attack directly. Maybe. We'll get one of those out. Um, increasing their defense. Hmm, I don't wanna get too complicated with it. I think for right now we'll do another whack a bump and I already have one boost sheet. We will do the sleepy sheet. All right, just in case if we need to subdue this guy, he's gonna be super tough because we rescued Prince Mush, of course, when we saved the day over at Glitz Pit. And if we take a look at our journal, we had our, or maybe would it be, where do we see our emails? Mailbox SP. We had quite a lot. But Mush over here, accept my challenge. This is Mush, Jolene's younger brother and first champion of the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. Still not sure what happened, but I do know that if you and my big sis hadn't saved me, well, I get chills thinking about it. Anyways. I was wondering if you had, if you heard about my big comeback. I've been pushing all of my limits with the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. I'm finally feeling and seeing the results. So it's time for Prince Mush to make a grand return to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help and she's arranged a special exhibition match just for the two of us. New champ versus original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'll be waiting for you in the glitz pit. Prepare for a Prince Mush performance like you've never seen before. I'm actually not sure that you have seen me battle before, so just believe me when I say I was good. Don't leave me waiting, Great Gonzalez from Prince Mush. All right, so let's head over there and take on Prince Mush. So here we are back in the Glitz Pit. I do wanna chat with some people and see what it's like. Yo, yo, Great Gonzalez, I hear you've thrown your hat back into the fighting ring. If your comeback is like a robot convention, are you an android or a cyborg? What does that mean? I don't know. But uh, we'll just try to, you know, chat with some people. Hi, the great mustache is back. Welcome back, yay! Wow, you've come back. We've been waiting, Gonzalez. My son will be overjoyed. All right, so let's go, and I think we have to talk to uh, Jolene first to be able to get everything organized, if I'm not mistaken, so I wanna go figure that out. Oh, here's Prince Mush. How you doing, buddy? Mario, my friend, you came. Thanks to you, I've been able to throw my fans once again as Prince Mush. I'd love to show you my appreciation by fighting you. If you're up for it, just enter my exhibition match. Will do. 
But first, like I said, let's go talk with Jolene, who I think is in here. <laughs> this is Miss Jolene's office. You may only enter when called by Miss Jolene. Oh, I guess I can't. But I am back in the running for everything, right? This is a major league locker room, bub. Sorry, you can't go in there. So I would be starting all over. Do I have to go through the entire thing to be able to go and take on Prince Mush? I'm not quite sure. Either way, hey guys, how are you? What's up, man? Good to finally see you again. For real, me, I unretired. Let's rock this joint. And also I wanna rest in bed really fast because I really need to refill our star points. So let's get that done. Just super quick. Take a quick snooze here. Gonzalez is back, bomb. It's an honor to bomb fight you in the same arena again. <laughs> mustache better than Cleftor when Cleftor was mustache's age. All right. Hey, how are you, Gonzalez? You're looking pretty good. Glad to see it. All right, so we go to the, uh, the Game Boy over here. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? So we have exhibition matches down this way. All fighters wishing to take part in exhibition matches must first hear an explanation of the rules. For exhibition matches, fighters can choose their opponent when reserving a match. Your ranking is not affected when you take part in an exhibition match. There are also no promoter requests. Otherwise, they proceed the same as ranked matches. You will receive fight money for these matches. You can increase your opponent options by increasing your rank. This concludes the explanation. Please choose review rules if you need to hear them again. Okay, so right now it's just Prince Mush we can choose. So I could go in and do that. Like I'm a little confused if there's like more, if there's another crazy boss fight I can do through this. I'm pretty sure this is the only thing. And the other stuff is just like, we can do it again if we really want to, but it doesn't really change anything. So this is what I wanted to focus on is taking on Prince Mush. And I don't know how easy or how not easy this is gonna be. A lot of you were saying it was really, really tough. But let's take on Prince Mush. Would you like an exhibition match against Prince Mush? Yes. Your exhibition match has been registered. Please wait in the locker room. A security guard will escort you. All right, we're waiting. There you go. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. All right. We're ready. Oh, here we go. Our first match two with uh, Jolene on the microphone and actually owning the whole thing. It's time for today's main event. And we're in for a beautiful brawl. Here, before your eyes, our newest champ, the Great Gonzalez, will battle the very first champion, Prince Mush. Once all is said and done, which of these two beloved fighters will be left standing in the arena? Let's get our star gladiators out here. First, making his triumphant return to the Glitz Pit, it's the Great Gonzalez. Here we are. And everyone's cheering for us. Gonzalez, he's back. What an entrance. The crowd is going wild for Gonzalez, our third champion. And standing opposite our newest champion is the first ever fighter to bear the title. That's right, folks. Back in action and better than ever. Ready for our royal return to the ring. Give it up for Prince Mush. Here he is. The crowd is stunned. Prince Mush, the first champion. We miss you. Woo, don't lose to Gonzalez. All right. Two champions. Face to face at last, the excitement among the crowd has reached a new peak. It's time to, to ring the starting bell and begin a match that will echo through the halls of the Glitz Pit for eternity. Get ready to brawl! All right, let's get going and take on Prince Mush. We'll definitely have to uh, tattle on him as well, just to be sure, but uh, here we go. Okay, Mario, let's give this match everything we've got. All right, buddy, let's do it. We're electrified, the fire's blazing. Let's switch over to Goombella and tattle on Prince Mush. Maybe this is the last character we need to tattle, I'm not quite sure. Excited to find out, but there we go. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the Glitz Pit. He's finally making his comeback. He's got a max HP of 96, an attack of six, and a defense of six. You'd never guess that he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. 
He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He's also known to switch between different battle styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast and come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure you'll, you'll come out on top, try to rely on super guards. Also, I've heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, hmm? Some cake face trauma in his past? Whatever. If you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true unrivaled champion. Then let's get to it. First thing I want to do then. Oh wait, I thought that sleeping would refill our star power. Uh oh, that's not so good. Um, let's go ahead and do an art attack maybe. I or a power lift. Power lift would probably be the best thing. All right, let's go for it then. Oh, and then we'll be all powered up for the next round. Got it. Okay. Because I don't know how tough this fight is going to be, if it's going to be more powerful. Whoa. That wasn't so bad. Almost got plus four. If it's going to be more powerful than Wacka, this really is going to be the true final test. So it might take us a couple of tries. Our attack and defense is boosted. Prince Mush's stance has changed. He's stomping around. Uh, oh, okay. That was only two damage. That wasn't so bad. Uh, Cool. Um. Let's go ahead and try multi bomb then, right? Yeah, either that, or I can encourage Mario to do an extra action. I think I want to do this out. Ready? Oh, this doesn't do any damage at all. Oh no. I thought with the extra damage it would, but I guess not. We'll try piercing blow on ya. Ooh. Oh, but he dodged it. Whoa. Okay, he's quick. That's another downside. You gotta be careful of things like that. Prince Mush's stands change. So he has different moves for different stances. Whoa! He's got plus three, plus three attack now too. This is crazy. Um, for now, I don't want to get too complicated with it. I might just try, no, 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 that was the wrong one. I meant to, whoops. Okay, well, I already know. There we go, I'll just mess it up. <laughs> uh, piercing blow on you again. But now that you have a different stance, maybe. Okay, yeah, you get hit by this one. Excellent. Glad we can make some kind of progress here with this turn. Gotta do a lot of jumps to make the most out of everything and keep that crowd happy. Yeah, yikes. Oh, oh, I got the super guard. There we go. Really have to try for those. But there goes all of our benefits. But it looks like he's weakened. So this might be the time to uh, switch over to Mario and do the piercing blow again. Ooh. And that does six damage, not so bad. And more than that, we get so much stylish points out of it, it's a very worthwhile move to use, because that's gonna be definitely almost a full star right there. So I think I might do Rally Wake with Mario. I think that might be a good idea. Okay. Just try to make sure that I can make him do a, an extra move, or I can act an additional time this turn, and then just do another one. Or I can try to go crazy with it, do one of these. Um, Make an, may make an enemy temporarily sleepy. I'm just worried that, that won't really work here. Okay, let's see if this, uh... Ooh. Boom, that's actually more. Awesome. So we can keep with that. We don't have to worry about like what we did with the Wacka. Uh-oh. Okay, I guarded it. It just wasn't a super guard. So he's back on his like super active stance where we might just want to consider being careful. We can switch out like this. Um, what if we did Bobbery's move? You know, if we just did like an explosion, would that be as easily dodgeable as, oh, I pressed the wrong button there, whoops. Okay, he did dodge it anyway, so that's exactly what I was concerned about, but now we know. And then Mario, if that's gonna be the case, let's look into what we can do instead. If we take a look at our items, like what if I use an item on you? Or, temporarily does half damage back. If he's gonna do a big move soon, let's try something like this and protect Bobbery. Ooh. Because if he hits us for a million damage, but we can hit him back for half that, it's still pretty good. His stance changed. Oh, see, he doesn't take any damage from that battle. Okay, that's where things get a little complicated, but honestly, maybe we switch over to Vivian. She can get her fire ability out here, and then Mario can switch over. We can do the power lift again, like this power lift on the two of them. Oh, here we go. I really gotta make sure we get a lot of damage out here. Pretty 
cool. Nice, plus four, plus four. Exactly what I wanted to see. Awesome. So attack is boosted both ways. Let's see what Vivian can do. If she can, no, no, no. Do like, I guess, we just wanna do Shade Fist on you. I could try Fiery Jinx and see if that's better. A, X, Y, Y, A, come on. Nah, okay, he's very resistant to all sorts of stuff here. Whoa, lucky. All right, here we go again. Let's see, maybe I could do Piercing Blow. He might just end up dodging this one. He does, but I can still get the Salish Points out of it, so there's at least that. Just trying to find out what's really gonna hit him here. He dodges that too. I just gotta wait for him to change stances. Oh, we did the super guard there. I think when we super guard him, yeah, he has to lay down for a second. That's our opportunity to do some major stuff like spring jumping. Ooh, here we go. Boom, 19 damage to him there. That was huge. Now we can try Shade Fist or Fiery Jinx. Let's try the Fiery Jinx. A, A, B, Y, Y. Here we go. Boom, nine more damage. Still the fire damage doesn't stick, but that's okay. He's charging up again. A fire, a fire, fiery fighting spirit is now burning within Prince Mush. Again? Whoa. Ah, 19 damage definitely hurts a bit. Oh. So what do we want to do here then? As he charges up again. Whoa. All right. First things first then, I think we should get Mario to do the, the piercing blow. It probably won't land, but if I can get the extra stylish points out of it. Oh, okay, he just guarded it anyways. Or something, I don't know. That was really weird. Uh, Okay, tactics. No, let's do, hmm. I wouldn't mind healing Mario up a bit and get, then getting some FP back too with the whack -a -bomb. That seems like a good idea. Cool, 25, 25 gets us really up there. This is where things matter. Oh, okay. I mean, the lucky dodge is good, but it seems like we can really only hit him. Uh, whoa, 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 what's going on? There's three of them now, uh-oh. I guess I could maybe do an ultra hammer like this. Ah, oh, doesn't do anything. Okay, but that did reveal which one was real. Yeah, I don't know what we wanna do here, exactly. Hiding the shadows with Mario to avoid attacks for one turn. The problem is it seems like I can only hit him when we do a super guard. That doesn't do anything at all. Okay. He's charging up again. Ah, oh, couldn't quite time it very well there. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I thought the, I thought the, the thing was gonna hurt me. Luckily it didn't, but let's switch over. Vivian, go ahead and do fiery jinx on the group of them. Y, X, Y, A, X. I don't wanna get attacked by three of them. That feels like it might be not so good. So now that I've done that, I will just do a normal hammer again so you can see what it does. Probably nothing. But I can still do a stylish jump, so it's something. The crowd is definitely getting disinterested because we're not landing any damage. I thought he was going for Vivian there, so I guarded way too soon. This is tough. This is getting really challenging now. If we can just find the opportunity by super guarding him, that's all we need. Not quite sure who we go for in this situation, but I'll just try Koops for now. Because if I could at the least, you know, use some of his moves to help defend us, I think that'd be a good idea, like Shell Shield. Let's try this one out. Press it with proper timing. Oh, not too bad. And we get the Stylish. So I think it just gets added armor, right? Maybe, maybe not. Here, let's see. And then I'll just do, maybe not Ultra Hammer, but, oh, no, I'll take that, thank you. You know what, why don't I use that right now? So I can just guarantee get rid of some of these guys. It probably won't do any damage to the actual Prince Mush. Yeah, not really, but it makes the others disappear. Come on, you have to attack me here. Ah, darn. Not good, I'm sorry, Koops, that looks like it hurt. And he's just charging up again. Even like piercing his shield is not working. So, hold on. Can I swap partners right now? Yes, I can. So let's just swap the little Zers to somebody, anybody. Um, and now, piercing blow. It's not gonna do anything. 
crazy that he can do that through a piercing blow, which is supposed to be the whole thing is that it pierces the... And that barely increased our star power. Ah, oh, whoa. I'm like pressing the button to do it and this is not working sometimes. Yikes. I wanna switch places too. I want Mario to be back out in front if possible. More people are leaving and that's making it really hard to gain any traction here. So now that I've done that, I want to, and I guess for right now, let's do super hammer so I can hit multiple just to send them flying. Okay, that didn't work. So it wasn't the right one. Uh, I guess for right now, tactics. No, no, no. Oh, I should have appealed. Maybe that would have been better. Right now, I really need to heal Mario. I think that's the best thing to go for. And that way we can also get FP back. Here we go. But I think appealing to the crowd so we can earn more star power. If I could do this again with full star power, that'd probably be better, right? That was the one thing I sort of didn't start with here. Ah, oh, I'm not doing good at timing those. Ah, oh, the super box. If I could, that would change everything. I got it really well the first couple of times. I don't know if it was just beginner's luck or what, or I'm just overthinking it now, but <laughs> little Yoshi's on fire, I'm so sorry. It's just one now. Okay, so at this rate, if I go and just use another, I get items. I have one more whack a bump I can make the most out of. I might as well use it on Mario and get the FP back. I want the Fire Flower, I really don't mind that. Um, Thank you. Whack a bump. And then Yoshi, I want you to appeal. I mean, I know he doesn't have much health here. All right, items. No, appeal. You got it, buddy. That was cute. And we get some extra points and some crowd members do come back. Oh, come on, I need to not get lucky. That's the problem here because that doesn't really actually help me. Tough. You know what? Uh, I will switch to Vivian again so that she can do the group attack on everybody, I think. Uh, but in the meantime, I mean, Mario, if you wanna appeal. <laughs> Hi. I think Mario would get some good appeal. Attack, fiery jinx on this whole group just so we can get rid of them. X, X, B, X, Y. Okay. That does get us a little bit of extra star power. He's not gonna take damage from anything. Ah, oh, darn. And it removes my FP too. <laughs> Just like extra insult to injury, I suppose. I'm a little bit worried of like what's actually gonna hurt him, you know? Because I could just try Earth Tremor, but like what if that doesn't do any damage at all? I don't know. I feel like I just wanna do Power Lift. So for right now then, I mean right now, yeah, I guess I'll just appeal to the crowd again. Try to get the crowd numbers back up. It was over 100 before, now we're at 51. I don't know how you leave this battle. It's, it's the battle of the century here. Fiery Jinx, X, Y, Y, X, Y. Okay. Oh, man. Really tough, and then back to this again. So silly. So this time I want to, I think same deal, right? Appeal to the crowd until we can make him weak again. Attack, fiery jinx. Until we're like confident we can land this. And it's like, I'm gonna have to land it multiple times. So it's just, it started so well. Ah, oh, I might have to unequip whatever badge is giving me lucky too, because it's actually, if I can't super guard against it, it's all for naught. He's gonna just make multiple guys again. And I'm like perpetually, doing fiery jinx. At least I'm doing pretty well with it, but. Uh, appeal, get this star power up as much as I can. And that's something. He's charging up. Come on, I thought he was going for Vivian and just, oh no. We can use that mushroom now. I have a couple of these, so that's what's good about it. He's back. Oh, uh oh, oh, no, okay, they fixed it. Cool. But until I can just, oh my gosh, this is so much. Uh, I just don't want to be attacked by one and then finally get the super guard and it ends up like not even really counting. 
No, no. Whoops. It's still enough to send them flying. Okay. One more time. Appeal to the crowd. So I can get this super guard. We're just in trouble. Come on. Oh, man. It's genuinely so difficult. And the more I know that, like, that's what I have to land, the more I'm anticipating it and more I'm going to mess it up. I don't like that that's, like, the only thing we can possibly do. Can I confuse him? Can I do anything else? It's just about landing a super guard? Oh, okay, I got a stylish there. It just doesn't do anything. It, I, that I don't like, because it just makes it a very unintuitive boss fight in a way. It's just, there's nothing to really be done. I can, like, normal jump on him. This is no damage will be dealt until... Oh. I'm pressing the button. I think that once we get down to zero health, Blocking just doesn't even seem to work at all. Because I hit him back on that last one earlier on. Ah, oh, this is definitely getting a little unpleasant. I think at this point, I don't even have the FP for that, so this is definitely where I need to. Not, not a life mushroom. Do I have any more wacka bumps? I have one more left. I'm going to use that on Mario and get some FP back. Mario, it doesn't seem like our dream of getting the. What's it called working here? The, um. Super guard is working out very well. Can I try a different move? Let's try art attack or power, or actually earth tremor or something. Let's do art attack and see if I can't do any damage with this at all. Because if he's just like, fully taking star power moves, like that's so lame. Why is it that literally only one thing works against him? All right, whatever. <laughs> I guess we just have to practice it a bit more. I can understand like, oh, the fight is harder if you can't. For me, the hard part is telling like which one is he gonna attack at us before he does it. You would think that that would at least get rid of the duplicates. I think that was a moment too soon. This is using up all my mushrooms. So I think at this point, this one's probably a game over situation. Okay, there we go, finally. But is that the right one? No. Ouch. Insult to injury. I mean, maybe he won't spawn in an extra if he already has one extra. Let's we'll see what ends up happening here. I mean, at this point, I guess we just keep appealing. No, I'll take that. I would love to have that. Appeal. Thank you. And Mario, if you want to do the piercing blows so that we can get more. Oh, I was hoping for more there. We got rid of one of them, so that's nice. Come on. That's the one I'm specifically having a really hard time with too, is timing that. I've gotten the other move quite a few times. At least two times. But uh, we'll have to switch out Vivian for someone else now. Um, I guess Bobber, he has one of the most amounts of health in these. Mario, keep appealing. Because we don't have enough star power for really anything else anyways. This is tough. It's also like very repetitive in some ways. Come on, Prince Mush. Let's see what you got this time. Police. Yeah, that was way too soon. Ooh. That is just so difficult to time. And I don't have any more life mushrooms, so that's gonna be it. Oh, we got ourselves a winner, Prince Mush. Thank you for the match. At least he's a good sport about it. Here's your five money of one coin, Mr. Gonzalez. I sort of want to reload my save so I can get my items back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Because I don't get those items back, right? No, nope, wrong button. Um, uh, Yeah, okay, I'm definitely gonna reload my save so I don't have to go back and spend a bunch of money on those items. All right, so I did want to go to the Battle Master here and see if I couldn't practice a specific move. What are you looking to train up in? Practice guarding. You want to practice guarding? Sure, ready to go, begin. Can I choose the opponent? Because, all right, I want to do super guard. I mean, that's cool and everything, but I, I was hoping I could maybe pra practice it for a specific enemy. Swap partner, stop. No, that's it? Okay, I thought I could practice it with like a specific enemy's move. It just being a random enemy's move isn't that helpful. Uh, all right, never mind. see ya. <laughs> 
you're not gonna be too helpful. I did change my badge collection though, because a lot of those weren't applying to this battle that we're about to go on. So here's my current badges. If I go to my, my gear, no, my badges, and then equipped. You can see I got power plus, FP plus, defending. I got piercing blow and then quake hammer to maybe get rid of some of the repeat um, mushes when they show up. Things like that will hopefully help. And I mean, as you can see here, I got all my stuff back as I reloaded my save. So I definitely need to save right in front of Prince, Prince Mush again so that we can take him on and hopefully this time I can win. Okay, so I got one of the super guards right there, but that was the first of many I need to do here. So hopefully now, unfortunately, I'm a little late to it just because I don't have the boost right now, but that's okay. We're just gonna do this and jump way up. And got it, boom. That's at least a start. And then for Goombella, I might wanna switch her out now to somebody who can really pack more of a punch. So if I swap partner, maybe now's a good time for Bobbery, or I could do Vivian. Little Z is here too. I'm a little bit worried about that one, but we can try it. Like a ground pound here. We'll see how this goes. Ooh. Okay, it's doing two each, or two on the first one. Nice, I'll take that, that wasn't so bad. Some kind of start here, for sure. And I got the super guard again! Here we go, here we go. This is where I need to, once again, do power lift, just like this. Ooh. And of course, I might not be able to attack right away. I mean, I guess what I could do here is I could also get Goombella to help me do an extra attack that is not the way I meant to go. Okay, we got plus four on both sides. That's really good. I think that's what I'll do. Goombella will come back out. I'll make her have us do an extra attack so that we can do the spring jump as Mario. Swap partner to Goombella. Attack, rally wink for Mario. Okay. Very nice, very nice. And then I can first off switch you back over to little Z so we have that extra defense, and then back over here to the spring jump. I need to make sure I land this, because this is the most damaging thing we got, really. Boom, 21 damage is huge. And we're getting up there with it. Prince Mush is ready to attack again, and that's the plus three attack. This is where I get a little scared, but we can definitely do something, right? Uh, I don't wanna do anything too crazy on you right now. I might just do the piercing blow so I can get more of the stylish moves out. That's what I was mostly into there. Okay, Yoshi, I don't think we can do too much. Rose takes the enemies to shrink in size. It's not gonna work. Uh, I think this is where we maybe just do some more appeals. I We just have to wait to be able to counter you. I think that's her best bet. Okay, change stance. There it is, awesome. Okay, so we still have bonus attack here for one more turn. Let's make it work. Um, instead of that, I gotta go over here and a spring jump on ya. That was really good. He is a lot lower now. Ah, uh, don't quite get that. I don't know if we really need it too much. Okay, little Z, go out there and just do a ground pound for now. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Okay, okay. This has gotta stack up some damage, right? Ooh, definitely. No way, we're about to beat him, it's so close. Come on. All we gotta do is land one more super guard. Come on, come on. Ah. Once again, I thought that was going for Mario. It really did look like it. Oh no, sorry, little Z. This might be the time to swap out a little bit. Because he's blocked, he's ready to go. I'm gonna heal up from that, but little Z won't, so yeah, time to switch him out. He's getting ready to go again. This is where things get real scary. All I need to do, first off, switch to you. Tactic swap partner. Let's just go with Vivian. It doesn't really matter too much right now, I don't think. Switch back to you. And I could go with something crazier. I just don't think it's gonna work. So I see the screen to do massive damage to all enemies. Could this work? I sure hope so. I don't know if it will. Repeatedly tap A, that's all we have to do? Okay, 
We can do that. Pretty good at tapping buttons. Nice. Again. I don't even know if this is gonna do any damage to me. It really might not. But it doesn't matter. If I can land one super guard after this, I really don't even need a damage boost. So if this doesn't work, hopefully that will. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Zero. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Just do an appeal for now then, Vivian. When he is guarded like this, literally nothing will damage him. So we just have to land that super guard. There it is. All right, here's our chance then. Mario, just jump on the guy. You're pretty good at that. <laughs> Let's go for it. Right over here, spring jump. Just the extra damage, just in case. Ooh. Got it, got it. I can't believe it. All right, once we get the super guard down, it's not too bad of a fight. We only get five points for it. All right. <laughs> I thought it'd be a lot more than that, but we do get a level up for all of our troubles. That is fantastic. All right, well, great job, Mario. And what do I want again? I mean, I guess I could get some more badge points. Seems like fun. Well, 45 in total. What a situation that was, but we finally did it. We defeated what might be the final boss that we have to defeat here in the Thousand Year Door, Prince Mush. So, so strong. You got me beat, Mario. Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves are all power, flying fists of fury. What beautiful destruction. This was without a doubt, inarguably, def definitely, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could only be one winner. And this time, it was the great Gonzalez. Woo! Great job, Gonzalez. I can't believe it. We truly are the champion of all champions. Here's your fight money for of 30 coins. <laughs> that's all we got. <laughs> but that's okay. It was more about the triumph. Oh, that's right. I hear Mush, oops, make that Prince Mush, has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway, if you wanna catch him now. That's all, take care, Gonzalez. All right, what a battle. I can't believe we finally did it. All right, let's get right through here, and then we'll go chat with him. Uh, I think he should be this way, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm also gonna go save. There we go. Mario, thank you so much for that incredible match. We put on quite a show up there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. I have a gift for you. Consider it a thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you take it. Oh wow, what is this? You got Prince Mush's belt. A belt matching Prince Mush's and a sign of his friendship. Well, thank you. I'm ready and willing for a rematch any time, and I intend to win it. All right, well. It looks like that's all he's gonna say. So there we go. I think at this point, we have properly defeated every single boss fight in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Such an exciting accomplishment. You might be wondering what's left for us in this game. There are a few more things to get done and to showcase, but once we do them all, I think we'll be ready to say that we're 100% completed. There should be one last reward for doing that. So I'll have to work my way up to it. Of course, we'll get back to doing that in the next episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.